Hey, Mike Simmons here in the cigar area. Tonight, I'm going to check out the Dunhill Heritage Honduras. This is the first Dunhill cigar made in Honduras. It's got a beautiful, very rustic looking, kind of mottled Ecuadorian Habano wrapper. I mean, it's just glistening. It's beautiful. Uh, Nicaraguan binder and Nicaraguan and Honduran fillers. This is also supposedly the first full body cigar produced by Dunhill. It smells very rich, almost sweet. Uh, The only other Dunhill I think I've done a review on is the uh, signed range. <clears throat> and this should be a, a far cry from what that was. That was a good cigar, but I'm really looking forward to this one. Yes. I've had some trouble with my videos recently. Uh, I had one uh, Crown Heads Jericho Hill. No sound. I had to can it. Yesterday I tried to uh, do one with a uh, Sam Lucia white and the cigar just uh, the wrapper was cracked and it just kept getting where it, it just eventually fell apart and was unsmokable <laughs> so <laughs> to give the cigar a fair shake I just had to shit can that video and I'll just have to do another one but I have not had the best of luck this week with my uh, review recordings so let's hope this one goes the opposite and uh, comes out stellar because <laughs> I need a break electronics have not been my friend lately Wow, talk about a rich tobacco taste. That is the most tobacco tasting cigar I've ever tasted on the first puff. I mean, it just tastes like tobacco. <laughs> I don't mean that in a bad way. Rich tobacco base flavor. Tastes like a cigar. Tastes like a cigar. Should taste in your mind when you take the first puff of a cigar. It's got some nice spice on the on the finish there, which is the usual with uh, Nicaraguan and Honduran tobaccos. But, uh, Hmm. A little bit of leather in there. A little creaminess. Could be some coffee creeping in there. We'll have to see. See how the first third goes. Dunhill. Heritage Honduras. Back. Okay, welcome back to the cigar area with the Dunhill Heritage Honduras. I 
thought I tasted a little bit of leather coming on in the beginning there, and I was right. Also, a hint of coffee. I was right about that, too. Creamy coffee, a bit of leather, and a really nice black peppery spice on the finish. Now, this is supposed to be a bold cigar, full body. It's getting there. The first third, medium to full at best. However, last couple puffs, feeling a little potential for uh, <laughs> some boldness here. So I'm I'm hopeful it's going to pick up some steam here and get a little stronger. Uh, that's my personal preference, but when a cigar is marketed as being full body, bold, it's kind of what I hope for. So, got a pretty nice burn, pretty nice char line. It's not completely razor sharp, but I just, just dropped the ash. Uh, you know, I have a, I have a can an ash can but okay it's about eight inches across I have this little cup that I sit my cigar on on top of a five by eight ceramic tray okay but nine times out of ten where does the ash drop on the floor Need to get a vacuum up here. <laughs> hmm. At any rate, I'm going to work my way into the second portion here. See what happens. Hopefully it picks up a little steam like I think it's going to. But for now, so far so good. Dunhill Heritage Honduras. Be back. Back with the Dunhill heritage on doors uh, the second third had a little bit of a change up uh, the leather flavor disappeared that creamy coffee solid pepper spice on the finish solid uh, still medium to full body and strength uh, still a little curvy burn but didn't require any touch-ups now uh, the inch the uh, inch yeah the ash holds on for about an inch inch or so and then it falls off on the floor but uh <laughs> it's got a beautiful white ash on there <clears throat> Sorry, I haven't been able to show it to you in full before it falls off, but uh, at any rate, uh, I was kind of hoping for more strength, but it's it's very it's very good. It's not a uh, it's not knock you on your ass strong, but it is strong. I mean, I can feel it in the back of my throat. And uh, that spice on the finish really holds on. And it just, that creamy coffee coats the tongue. That spice gets in along the edges, really hangs in there. Very flavorful. Um, and it is much bolder than uh, most of the Dunhills that I've smoked. I, uh, the uh, signed range. And uh, the flagship, uh, I don't know if there's a certain name for that one, this the Dunhill uh, with the goldish brown label. Definitely stronger than those, but it's, I, I wouldn't call it full body, at least in, in my taste. I mean, that's, someone else might smoke it and say, wow, that's really strong, but as I said before, you know, this is all subjective. You know, all the flavors, 
that I taste, you may not necessarily taste. You may taste more. Uh, the strength, uh, the body of the cigar <clears throat> may come across differently to you than it does to me. Um, you know, sometimes you you talk about a cigar and then someone else will make a comment, well, I tried that and it, you know, it wasn't that great or it was so-so or it sucked or whatever. And then someone else will say, oh yeah, it's great, it's one of my favorites. It all depends on the person. Everybody's different. Everybody perceives these flavors in a slightly different way. Uh, rarely are you going to find, you know, two exact same descriptions of a cigar. But, uh, I mean, it's bold enough to say this is the boldest Dunhill. That's at least that I've tried. I have not tried the entire line, but I will eventually. <clears throat> but I do have, uh, I got a five pack of these, I believe. And I'm definitely looking forward to smoking another one because it is really, it is a very good tasting cigar. Uh, time wise, I have no idea how long I've been smoking this. I'm a little bit out of it today. It's late. It's like 11.40. Had a long day. A lot of things are just kind of slipping by me, but uh, the flavors of this are not slipping by. It tastes very good. It's smoking really nice. I'm going to work into the final third. See what happens. Could get stronger. Could stay the same. Could mellow out. Who knows, we'll find out. Alright, welcome back. In the final third of the Dunhill Heritage Honduras. I'm going to take the band off right now. Well, the final third proved to be much the same as the second. Uh, creamy coffee and black pepper spice. Although, Spice mellowed out a bit, as did the uh, the overall body. Uh, as I said earlier, you know sometimes it, it'll get stronger, sometimes it'll mellow out. This one mellowed out. The flavors are still identifiable and and very tasty. I mean, it's, it's very tasty cigar, but. Uh, the full body thing <clears throat> to my palate, it didn't come through medium to full at best. Um, it's still, it's a, it's a great tasting cigar. Uh, so we started off with a, with a blast of uh, <clears throat> spice and leather, <clears throat> excuse me, at the beginning. The first third we had leather, coffee, black pepper spice. Uh, second, third, leather disappeared. We had the uh, creamy coffee and the black pepper spice. And now we have the creamy coffee and more of a, <clears throat> more along the lines of a white, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> pepper than a black. So, <clears throat> all in all, it burned really well. A little curvy, but, uh, you know, nothing bad, no canoeing, anything like that. All in all, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, being marketed as a full-body cigar, to me, it, it didn't quite make the full-body cut. But as a medium to full, excellent. Excellent flavor, good burn, consistent. Uh, nice range of flavors, <coughs> good balance. Um, the other thing is the price. A single of these, this is, I don't even think I mentioned this. I said I was a little whacked out today. Um, this was the Toro, uh, 6x50 Toro. A single of this 
goes for about 11 and a quarter. And that's pretty high in my book. Um, five pack brings the price down to about seven. I got these. I don't remember where I got them. But I know I only paid like nineteen ninety nine or something when they were on sale. That's that's how I look for the premiums when they're five packs or in a sampler and they're and they're on sale. That's how I get my my bargain. So this this only cost me about four bucks. Four bucks for a cigar you pay eleven dollars for in a store. That's a pretty good deal. Uh, but if you're gonna go out and buy one, it's gonna cost you eleven dollars. So that's not, you know, not really in the ballpark that I aim for. But apart from that, it's a great smoke. Uh, you like medium to full, very flavorful, lasted a long time. As I said, I have no, no idea what time I started this, but uh, I've been smoking it for a while. Uh, and the ash holds on for about an inch and it falls off. So, you know, if you can get a deal on these, you know, most definitely pick some up. Good smoke. Dunhill, Heritage, Honduras. I'm Mike Simmons. This is the Cigar Area. I want to thank you for tuning in. Check out my other <laughs> videos on YouTube and check out my website, thecigarareria.com. Uh, enter my new contest for April. Uh, giving away a stinky ashtray for the car. It's a single stick. Pretty nice. Uh, pretty nice ashtray for the car. You can also use it outside the car. It has a clip on it. The lid opens up. It's hinged. There's a picture on the website on the contest page. So send me an email. Enter. And uh, until next time, happy smoking. Talk of fish cleave, cream is season, all I'm left with is a breeze. Doesn't even reach my knees, it's too much in this. 